All right, Halos, what's up? How's everyone doing? Um, <laughs> I'm doing some more intro bots on our level 1 to 30 grind. Um, we're getting first one of the day once again, and then we're also getting... Um, we're going to try to get five Epic Monster takedowns during this match. Um, I did actually forget to do one thing this match, though, and that is... Um, <laughs> I forgot to take Smite. I meant to do a, a bunch of jungle clear, that's why I picked this champion. And I also, because of that, I was like, I don't need lethal tempo in the jungle, so I switched to fleet footwork. Um, but that's a little bit unfortunate now, so unlucky. Uh, we gotta get Leaf Fountain though, because we're gonna get flagged as AFK if we don't. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and hurry on out of here. We can uh, normally, at least in intro bots, um, one of your best starting items is actually going to be, um, what's it called, what's it called, Dark Seal, uh, so that's probably one of the best ones, but I'm actually just going to try um, a relatively normal build, but I'm going to switch it up with more attack speed, um, because on hit and attack speed in the game now is super good. So uh, we're going to start off with Nasher's Tooth just like normal, and then it'll go up from there. It's kind of interesting, it doesn't really tell you how much, um, like this actually does increase the 15 magic damage it's actually a uh, 50 per 15 percent 50 sorry percent of your um ap at least unless they changed it recently i don't think they did that's that's the on hit damage that you get it's 50 percent of your ap but yeah they they uh they don't really warn you that i like tell you that very well i guess Kind of unfortunate, but it's what it is. Ah oh, man, I missed that one. A little bit too slow. Whoops, I'm gonna miss some of these. That's alright though. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and get some of this turret damage down. But yeah, we do have to kill pretty much as many epic monsters as we can. Um, the first time I tried this mission on another account, it uh, didn't count each individual Void Grub as um, an Epic Monster takedown. In fact, I don't think it counted either of them, because uh, I think what I did is I did one Rift Herald, I did both of the Void Grubs, uh, groups rather, like both groups of them, and then I also finished it off with um, two Dragon Kills as well, and that should have been, if you think about it, five unique uh, epic monsters, according to to Riot at least, but um, yeah, it didn't actually end up happening that way, so I'm not sure what happened there, but um, oh well, I guess, right? Not much I can do about that. Just have to play another game, pretty much, to try to get the the thing. Right, let's go ahead and get out of here a little bit. go but yeah I kind of messed up the runes for sure this game it's okay though it's not the end of the world it's just not ideal like you usually either want uh, lethal tempo or press the attack depending on uh, whether you want short trades or long trades in my opinion at least but it's gonna be okay because volleyball is still good at taking objectives although you do get a lot more healing if you uh, if you were to do it that way with like a, a jungle pet healing you on top of everything. I would like to get a demolish proc off here if I can. Looks like it's not quite off cooldown yet, though, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's okay. Oof, that was close. Alright, Demolish proc is off cooldown now, so we can go ahead and grab that, and then we'll probably back off because we are very low right now. Let's try to get those minions all as well, though, if we can. This is about to spawn, but I am very low on health. If we can heal up off of something, that would be really good. 
Um, don't think the plants have, have come yet though, which is unfortunate, but this should give me enough healing. Let me do one more heal off of it. There we go. That should be fine. And the Void Grubs do spawn, I believe, at the exact same time as Dragon, actually. So you kind of have to choose nowadays. I am going to run out of mana, but this should be okay. I think. Possibly not, though. Maybe I should have just saved it for W instead of the E. Yeah, because I'm not getting that healing now, actually. Shoot, I might have to come back for this. Whoops. Let's see, we'll try. Come on, don't die. So close. Watch, I'm gonna die to this, it's gonna be funny. Oh, let's go, we got it. Alright, nice. That was way closer than it needed to be. Oof. Yeah, not having mana is not the best. <laughs> <laughs> be a lot better if I had that um, that jungle item, that's for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and teleport out and get out that direction. So we can do the Void Grubs now. Oh, I forgot I missed autoed him there a little bit. It's okay though. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab a, a quick... Um, Quick turret plate, I think. It's gonna delay our, our void grubs grab, but it's not the end of the world. It'll be all right. Just a little bit unfortunate. So yeah, that should be the first first epic takedown was there. This it says each group of void grubs is counted as a um, another one. Like there's two different groups of them, and it counts each of them individually as a takedown. I don't know if that's true, but that's what it says. So you would ha you would think it would be correct, but I don't know. We'll see. Do a for fun ward there. I kind of want to just level my Q. Normally I level my E second after W, but eh, I don't know. We'll just do the, the Q for now for fun. Actually, we should go grab this blue buff to be honest. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. That way we won't run out of mana as much. Of course, once we're in combat with champions and get takedowns, it'll be a lot better. Because of, uh, we have presence of mind. But, yeah. We did lose a few, several minions there by taking that blue at that moment, but it'll be alright, I think. There we go, we got him. One more. Alright, and now we have a dot damage of 18 over the course of, well, each second actually. Looks like. Q does a little bit of extra damage, but not much. To turrets, rather. And then. Alright, nice, nice. I'm just taking down these turrets so that I can end the game a little bit quicker a little bit later. Normally we try to go for a 10 minute in, but it's not going to be this what we're doing this time around for sure. Yeah, see, now it's 37 magic damage on hit. That's already gone up. Go ahead and get the heal off of him real quick. Alright, and then got a little bit of time before the dragon spawns again. Go dragon spawning in a minute. I think I have time to try to get this turret. 
Or at least some damage on it. Might not be able to, probably won't be able to get the whole turret. Yeah, we'll at least get some dot damage on it though. That'll help a little bit. Let's go ahead and head to the dragon now. Go ahead and heal up off of Gromp real quick though. There we go. So I got 40 seconds. I might just clear the wave. Maybe kill some of these guys real quick. Nice. Alright, yeah, we'll go to the dragon now. We have plenty of mana, so it's not gonna be a problem now. Which is good. Very nice. Yeah, this huge wall though. I guess we could go ahead and grab this real quick since we have a little bit of extra time. What uh what order do you take the the little Healy boys there? Oh yeah, and then we'll go straight to Void Grubs from here. Next up we could do a lot of different things, um, but I kind of just want a, t a lot of attack speed mostly, so um, probably go Ginsu's. We'll get that on hit damage as well, every third auto. You don't have to have it fully, st oh wait no it does have to be fully stacked, okay never mind. That's okay though. and then W and it should be dead pretty much. Yes, yep, that's all three. So theoretically that should be a total of four epic monsters now. And then Rift Herald spawning in a minute and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the blue buff real quick. Probably should do it back on the way out, but it'll be fine, we'll do it now. So we don't have to do it there. And then let's go recall, get some items, and then we can head back out. Titanic is supposed to be pretty good as well in the new uh, the new meta. Obviously, Blade of the Ranking would be really good as well. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's it's buffed, and if, if anything, it's really nice. This doesn't have Omnivamp anymore, but it still does uh, pretty much most of the same stuff as before. It's actually cheaper, right? I think. Pretty sure. All right, let's go ahead and head to Rift Herald now. We could actually go ahead and teleport out. I think, I think I will do that so we can take out this turret real quick. Quick. We still have to wait 40 seconds to do most of this. But yeah, now we're doing a lot of on-hit damage, which is nice. The passive also does plenty of on-hit too. Yeah, we take this super quick now. And every like I think it's 14 seconds, uh, 15 seconds. We spawn void mites as well. They're gonna go down the lane. Look at them go. Obviously they they like slowly decay their health. That's something they didn't uh, actually tell you. That the health decays. But it's all right. Little stuff that Riot leaves out. <laughs> If you're just soloing it, um, you do 50 percent, 50 I think percent less damage to the herald. All right, nice. Uh, that should be five epic monsters technically. I'm gonna go ahead and take um, another dragon because I don't like last time it didn't count. You know it should have. But um, yeah, we could go ahead and try to end the game now if we really wanted to. And then now we've got these special ones, which will actually give the buff to 
all of our allies in the game. Wait, it should, right? No? Why did I not give it? That's what they said. It says it gives it to all the allies. Maybe it has to be after 20 minutes, actually. That's probably what it is. I think it has to be after 20 minutes. Then everyone gets the, the buff if you slay the, the buff. So that's pretty cool. And the Rift Trail Charge does have a limit to it. It's not like infinite. You can't just like go like all the way down the map. It's relatively short, but it's also not super short or anything. Actually, let's go ahead and show you guys the the dash through the champion if he's still there. See if I can get there in time. Goes through minions, goes through champions, knocks them up, and then it booms. Nice. And we got tons of void mites here as well. The void mites now. Oh wow, they're doing a lot of damage actually to it. Hopefully they don't do it before I kill this guy. Yeah, we could do we could actually kill Baron if if the game doesn't end before then. I feel like it will. But I might actually want to stall till Baron. It's only three more minutes might be the play here actually. Let's see if my guys end. Hopefully they won't. Um, I don't know if they're like humans or bots so it's hard to say for sure. But yeah let's go ahead and get some of these buffs. Got three minutes to burn. You can go ahead and recall for items as well if we want. Over here to the blue. We'll go ahead and empowered recall. And then where should we go from here? Oh, you do get the Omni Vamp at the end, actually. Riftmaker is so good, actually. Wait, what? How much does it immediately give you? 9 AP as on top. Man, that's so good. It is enemy champions, of course, but still, just like the, just like before. But yeah. All right, I think they're probably gonna end the game, but we can we can try. Um, what's the other attack speed items? Phantom Dancer is a good one, and then Wit's End is another one. Yep. All right, let's head over to the Baron. See if uh, they don't end the game first. Looks like, yeah, they're gonna end the game. Oh well. It's fine. So, if what I'm, if what I saw was right, then it's probably going to give me four epic monsters takedowns, right? Um, theoretically, it should give me six total, which would complete the mission of five. But we'll see. Uh, I'll go ahead and honor. I'm sure. If everyone in the game honors, then uh, we get an extra one. Yeah, so it only gave us four epic monster kills. So it didn't count for either of the Void Grubs, actually, because we got three dragons, one Rift Herald. So for some reason, they're not counting as epic monsters, um, which is very strange. We're pro it's probably a bug. We should go ahead and talk to Riot about that, report a bug there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there we go. That's going to be the game for today. At least we got first one of the day. Um, you know what? We could go do a quick one and just try to end super fast. What do you guys think? I think we'll go ahead and do a, a quick one and try to input really fast. Uh, we need a fast auto attacker that kills turrets quick. Trundle, Caitlyn. These champions are all good at that. Let's do Kate. Let's do Trundle for now, I think. And we'll go ahead and do digital tempo. Yeah, that should be fine. 
All right, yeah, let's do a quick second game. It might take a while to load into the game, which is the only unfortunate part, but this game should be right around 10 minutes, maybe 11. Not exactly sure the exact amount of time it takes for Trundle to uh, to end, especially in, with the new items, but it should be pretty fast. You know, at one point, um, if you see the whole frame, you can tell that his body is actually right over here. It's kind of out of frame in this little portrait, but... Um, it kind of, if you think, if you like look at it really strangely, uh, really quickly or whatever, it kind of looks like uh, this is his body and he's like leaping down and that's his arm. And that's his other arm. He's got like two arms for, like, kind of behind him as he's like leaping downward. But uh, no, his body's here and that's his, uh, it's his arm right there. <laughs> but yeah, I, I used to kind of low-key wonder if that was his body, but no, definitely is not. Definitely is not. All right, let's try to load in this game quickly. Yeah, as you can see down here, it's like super glitching out. That's kind of interesting. All three of these people both have a L at least at the beginning. Two of them have an L A. But yeah, these I don't know. These names just look like bot names. Like all of them have the same summoner spell order, same summoner icon. It's kind of weird, man. I have a feeling that they are bots, but maybe some of them are humans. Um, probably not all of them, but it's a possibility one or two at least are. I mean, theoretically, it's a possibility that all of them are human, but I don't. I'm not so sure about that, to be honest. Maybe though, maybe. Perhaps, perhaps. Either way, how's everyone's day doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, if you do have um, if you don't mind, I would very much appreciate if you like and subscribe. Um, just the view definitely helps a lot. Uh, the like helps quite a bit as well. It mean it tells the algorithm that uh, it should like show it to other people. So it's pretty pretty nice. And then um, more views obviously help the algorithm for sure. And then the longer you watch a video. Um, which is like the watch time, like instead of just clicking off after the first 10 seconds or, or first minute or so, um, the better the algorithm likes it and then it'll start promoting it to other people as well. So any of that stuff helps, absolutely. And if you don't mind, I would very much appreciate it. And of course, um, if you do end up liking or subscribing, you can always change your mind later if you want, but um, I would very much appreciate it. It definitely helps out the channel a whole lot. We are on our way to getting monetized. Um, we're not quite there yet, but um, I would one day, uh, hopefully relatively soon, like to be able to kind of just um, support myself and my family off of, um, off of content. YouTube, Twitch, stuff like that. Maybe kick. We'll see. Um, that would be awesome and amazing, but you know we've got we've definitely got a long way to go for that. Um, but I think eventually we can definitely get there. Hopefully sooner rather than later, though. That would be that would be very nice for sure. Um, and then once we do hit the monetization and start making at least a little bit of money, um, that would be really big because then we can start actually. Like, not only trying to support myself a little bit, but um, once I can support myself a little bit more, then I won't have to work at, like, an actual job as much, and then, like, I mean, an in-person job as much, and then that'll give me a lot more time to be able to do, um, or at least have a lot more opportunity to do more content, and which will also give me an opportunity to do editing, um, which I haven't been able to do a whole lot of lately just because of time constraints, mostly. Um, lots of stuff we could go for. I don't think we really need the lifesteal. Hmm. It is nice, though. I think we'll just go the attack damage. We could probably go the attack speed. That might be a smarter idea. No, yeah, that'll, that'll be a smarter idea, because we do get attack damage already, just from our Q. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go to the bot lane because this uh, turret doesn't have, as you can see, it doesn't have this uh, extra one that the other have. As you look up here, this only has five. If you look over here, this, these have six. Effect expires after five minutes, but it blocks 50% of incoming damage. The mid and top t turrets both have this, but the bottom turret does not have this. So that is why we go bot lane. 
Um, it's just uh, a better one to attack. It doesn't take 50% less damage like the others. Also, you can get uh, two kills down here, which is nice. Sometimes it can be a little annoying as well, having to fight two people, because it does take away from your turret damage a little bit, or time to clear waves, such like that, because you have to take the, those guys out. But overall, I think it's definitely a positive, definitely a good thing. All right, start attacking these guys. Didn't quite get that guy killed, but that's fine. Also, our passive heals us, so that we, we don't need... <gasps> excuse me. We don't need quite as much... Aw, um, oh man. Aw, oh man. Missed one. Uh, we don't need quite as much uh, like lifesteal and such, because our passive automatically heals us. And then our W actually increases the healing that not only our passive, but all healing sources give us. So, it's really good. Kind of like Spirit Visage is passive. It's really nice. And then our Q does work on towers, which is one of the reasons why. And melee champions do more damage to turrets as well. Just overall. It's just a fact. Let's try to get the second plates, and then we can back off. Not worried about taking a sh turret shot there, it's not a big deal. But getting that extra plate is really big because that uh, little fortification that you can see, um, I don't know what it's called, bulwark, will time out by the time we get to attack this turret the next time. Not worried about losing that one mini. Oh man, I'm losing that cannon's really bad though, I'll be honest. Not worried about losing that one. Not really worth the uh, the turret shot in my opinion though. At least for now. There we go. The minions walked under the turret, so now we can start getting more turret damage. Aw oh, man, I did not mean to attack! My auto attack went to the wrong target there. That was really bad. That was really rough. Try to get these guys separate if we can. Nice, good job, good job. Try to get these guy, this guy before I die. I won't. Okay, good. I won't die, I mean. Actually, a little bit unfortunate that we aren't quite killing them, but it's because I have the dagger instead of either a Doran's Blade or a, um, a Longsword, which would also be, would both be very good. At least get this. If we can get the Demolish proc, that'll be good enough. Although it's going to be reduced damage because of the uh, bulwark. We're getting real low. Hold on. Wait for my Q to come back up. There we go. Nice. Good job. Good job. bit of healing by killing all these guys or even if they don't die by me as long as my allies kill them as long as they're in range of this passive zone right here which is very large actually then we'll get the healing from them all right we'll go ahead and recall after this uh, turret plate here as long as this guy doesn't bother me I mean possible he'll just chase me forever I think if I lose sight right here, yeah, we did lose sight, so he doesn't actually chase us. So we can go ahead and recall now. We do have to take out one more, um, one more epic monster, but that that'll be easy. It'll be not a big deal. Uh, lots of stuff we could go for. Trinity Force is probably gonna be our best bet because we do need the Sheen proc for our Q. Essence Reaver might not be a bad idea though, but I think the sh the Trinity Force is gonna be more overall damage at least. This will give us more mana back for sure, but a lot of mana back actually, but um, should we do that? Hmm. I don't know. Actually, we'll just go for this for now. Kind of wasted some time deciding to buy that item, but it's fine. So yeah, it won't be quite as quick of a, a match, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, I didn't quite kill him there. Go. 
go. I do actually like Essence Reaver a lot in terms of like giving you mana back. Or mana. I think it's the correct turn right pronunciation because uh, mana is actually M A N N A, and this is actually spelled M A N A. But yeah. All right, let's take out this turret. Didn't quite get that one, unfortunate, but it's fine. They'll get him. Not worried about that. We can also get the um, the blue buff if we really need mana that badly. Really shouldn't need it though. And it'll help us take down turrets a little bit quicker with the Trinity Force. A little bit extra damage. Probably have to recall pretty soon here. I do need to get another item for one. I can try to regen a little bit from this at least. Over five seconds, yeah. Try to get this turret first and then we can recall. Go ahead and get out of there so they don't accidentally run us out. And then I think we'll go probably grab... Uh, let's go ahead and grab this real quick. And then we'll maybe grab the crab and then possibly the dragon from there. A little bit of a waste of time, I guess you could say, but we do need to get it a little bit. Oh, we do have the little belly, the little uh, thing here. I think it does deal one damage here, yeah. Your pillar actually does deal like one damage, I believe. Oh, wait, why? Why were you resetting? Your aggro should not be resetting. <laughs> Alright, we should be able to kill him, I believe. As long as my cooldowns come up enough. He does deal a lot of damage now. Alright, nice. Now we can go ahead and recall, get out of here, and then come back right back. I'll grab this real fast, attack speed, and then more attack speed basically. Uh, yeah. Actually, nah, we'll go, we'll go long sword, sure, why not? But yeah, now we have that epic monster kill, so that should almost definitely, I only say almost because sometimes it's a little bit glitchy, but it should almost definitely um, be that mission done, which is nice. Really good. It's kind of cool I can start aggro with the pillar though. <laughs> I actually like that a lot. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's get up here and try to finish this game real quick. Don't have a lot of life steal, which is the only problem, but we should be fine. Man, I took turret aggro there a little bit. That's not great. Um, it's a little bit dangerous, actually. I could just TP back, because I have unleashed teleport. That might be the play here, as long as they don't see me. Yeah, the life steal's pretty big. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's go ahead and get at least this. Could grab, like, two of them if we wanted. Yeah, you know what? We will, actually. Uh, we'll grab a recurve bow to finish it out, and then 
go ahead and TP back up there, get up, get this game over and done with. I just don't have a lot of wave clear, it's the only problem with the current build. If I had gone like Titanic Hydra or something, that would help a lot. Or Ravenous Hydra, that would work also very well. But I hadn't. It's fine though, shouldn't be a big deal. I love how fast I'm attacking though. It's great. Yeah, let's just end the game honestly. Nice, GG. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. That should be the last mission quickly done. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and honor and get the finished mission done. And then we can end the video there. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see any of them all the game. Just give it to someone random. Yep, there we go, there's the mission done. So the next one's gonna be Kill 15 Champions. We can do that one really easily. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.